Hey, it's Christian back, and I'm going to do a review on a very popular palm here in Florida, the foxtail palm. Now, this I'll give a little bit of background on where the foxtail's from, uh, how it was found, um, and how it got into Florida, uh, uh, the, the, the growing world in Florida, for lack of a better term, uh, the landscape world. So, the foxtail is native to northern Australia, and it is called uh, Wodietia bifurcata. Um, Wodietia, it was a name that was given to, I believe it was the aboriginal, one of the last aboriginal chiefs of the area. He was in a nursing home. This is in the 1970s. And one of the guys that worked there, this aboriginal man would, uh, would talk to him and tell him that he knew of a place where, of a valley, where one of the most beautiful palms in the world grows. And the, the person that worked there thought maybe he might be a little bit senile. Finally, he said, you know what, let's go out there. So it's not accessible by road. It's only accessible by boat. It's like a creek off of a, off a gulf in Northern Australia, which is very remote. So they go in this creek and apparently they go to the valley and they find these things growing wild. And it was just an amazing sight, so to speak. And so the person that had found the seed apparently kept it a secret for quite a while. These seeds were very expensive for at least 15 to 20 years. Up until the mid-90s, you were paying 5 to $10 for uh, even, uh, you know, foxtail seeds, uh, retail, wholesale. Was, I, I, I don't know the exact numbers, but it was quite expensive. Now you can get a kilo. They sell them by the kilo because they're heavy and just, you know, uh, easier to bag up that way. Um, for, you know, depending, but you're, you're looking at about a, a quarter to 50 cents a seed just you know re retail wholesale you're gonna get a better price than that maybe uh so anyway i'm gonna go on about the uh characteristics of the foxtail now it grows best in full sun uh it, it, and it can look it can look really really nice or it can look absolutely terrible depending on how you take care of it uh there are these two foxtails here are going to be a lot beefier than these three down here uh they're going to be foxtails when not when not properly fertilized will pencil out they'll get yellow their leaves will not be full these are in, are in pretty good shape they're not the top you know end they're not what we call florida fancy foxtails but they're number ones they're in, they're in good shape they're healthy they're not really beefy but you know what this is really how they look in habitat they don't get the that fertilizer three to four times a year in habitat so really this is how they would look if you would find them growing in australia now the, the problem is, is people really want that beefy look. And in order to get that, you're going to need to feed these things quite a lot. They're fertilizer hogs. Um, they're going to want quite a bit of water. If you don't, while you fertilize, and you're going to get this sort of uh, unbalanced uh, fertilizer to water ratio. You're going to either burn up the plant or you're going to dry it out. So uh, as we're also to speak of are the seeds. Now the seeds right here, sorry about the lighting. I might have to redo this, but... I'm going to try, those are uh, ripe foxtail seeds, and they're actually dropping down on the ground here, as you can see, and there's actually seedlings growing, and that's a great thing, right? Well, yes and no. Yes, you know, if you want to grow seed from foxtails, it's actually, they're very prolific seeders. However, a lot of these are not wanted seeds, so to speak. I mean, each, each plant can put out, you know, 500 seeds, and if there's... Uh, hundred of them in this, in this property there just isn't the room to and as a result a lot of these end up dying or they grow up and they just kind of they need to be cut down and that's a problem for a lot of people that have foxtails in their yard uh, or garden and uh, you know th th they have a great looking plant it's seeds there's seedlings everywhere the seeds are not small so when you do uh, cut them you know the best thing to do is let them drop do not try and chop these seeds off I tried that about 10 years ago and I, that, that brack basically took me out. It weighs about 70 pounds. So 70 pounds dropping from about 15 feet or so, you know, just not a good idea. You know, you don't want like a big dumbbell falling on you. And, you know, I learned the hard way. So there's a little bit, might be a little more color coming to these. So anyways, I kind of go through that, uh, you know, the, the advantages and disadvantages of the foxtail here. Um, you know, one thing you'll notice, and you'll see this on a lot of crown shafted palms and non-crown shafted, but uh, you see it on royals, foxtails, king palms. You see these flared, this buttress root situation. That's the result of getting water at the, quite a bit of water at the base. And what they, they're basically doing is they're aerating their roots. They're opening up their trunk and saying, "Hey, we're getting so much water. Let's open up and you know let's let's capitalize on it." Sorry about that camera. <laughs> I'm kind of I'm not looking directly at the screen. I'm still a amateur video guy here. 
So yeah, this their 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 roots are basically saying, hey, let's open up, let's get some more water, and let's let's able let's let's be able to uh, to also dry our roots out because if they don't do that, they might get swampy and they can cut they can get a fungal issue. So with that said, foxtails are beautiful plants. They are fast growers in Florida. They are they are sought after by many a. Uh, you know, many people that want a nice big structural plant in their garden. However, they do have a lot of requirements, fertilizer, uh, lots of water. And if when, if you do not keep up on this, you will get a stunted plant. You'll get, you know, this trunk is swollen if I go up like this. Now, if it gets stunted, you'll get this little wave in the middle and it's going to look funky and it, you, there's no way to get rid of it. It just is going to stay that way. So unlike trees, palms, their the, their outside uh, trunk is not living. It's actually dead. So it's not going to, um, it's not going to change ever. It's not going to it's not going to beef up. So anyway, let's see if I can zoom out here a little bit. Get the crown there. As you can see, it's a graceful crown. The, the leaflets are very plumose, hence the name foxtail, and it kind of looks like a foxtail. So um, and there's actually one bracture. It looks like it's just about in flower or just about out of just finished flowering but uh the, these are that's that's the foxtail for you beautiful plant but a little caveat you know be prepared to take care of this plant it's not uh an easy care plant if you want to make it look its best it'll survive but whether you want it to thrive requires a little bit of work on on the grower's end so with that said i'm gonna end this video here i hope you enjoy these videos if you do uh subscribe to the channel and there'll be more and more of these coming. There are many species of palms and I'm going to try and cover every single one that I can. So anyways, have a nice weekend and uh, thanks for watching.